Hello everyone and welcome to Quality Old Games. Today we are having part 6 of Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition and I think our goal today is to gain some more experience and some loot as well and to level up the characters. And at the beginning, last time I asked about your favorite mate spell, how about uh, your favorite priest or druid spell? I don't have that much experience with druid spells, but I think the healings are absolutely a must. Maybe the most common spell I use is cool cure light wounds but of course the most more potent healing spells are are nicer but overall as a category i think i need to go with um with the healing spells So let's see <clears throat> what can we identify and sell here. I think those were cursed. Some arrows, I don't think I will waste identifies on them. And of course, Duna here has the spell. So, <clears throat> sorry. So let's do the identification there as well. Okay. So gloves of fumbling. Some spells that could be of service to Duna here. I don't think we want to change the rope. Yeah, but we can try to learn the spells. Nice. And let's see if this Tyrum Huirum buys jewelry. He does not. But maybe some gems can be sold. I'm a bit loath to sell that Ashidena plus two because it's such a good item <coughs> so <coughs> sorry about that cough <coughs> so i think i will end up carrying it along the whole game long and not using it once and i think from the burning wizard we could get a quest Or rather, get and finish the quest. And of course, it will mean that we will lose our boots, but maybe we can get them back. So, he stole some gold from us, and okay, so we lost the boots, of course, we could try to get them back with Imoin, but I doubt this will be successful. Then again, we don't lose reputation here. And we get the boots back. So now it really comes down to what kind of character we are playing. And unfortunately, I think we are two goody goodies 
to take back the boots. And let's see if we could sell the jewelry in Feldeposts in. And one thing I don't like, at least this original Baldur's Gate, is that how difficult it is to initiate entrance or traveling. Because it does not work quite as it should be working. Okay, so at the moment <coughs> we have about 8000 gold pieces. That's a nice beginning. <coughs> I think we will go to the southern parts of Nashkel uh, first. And we should have a couple of fights ahead of us here. <clears throat> and we might also be able to help a boy to find his pet dog, Ruffy. If I remember correctly that this is the area where those two are. Some kobolds. I guess I have already mentioned that I don't like kobolds too much. By the way, in addition to hoarding good items, I usually hoard scrolls and potions for the time when I might need them. And then after I have finished the game, I noticed that actually there wasn't a time I needed those. So. I end up having quite a lot of good items, which I never used. All right, all right. Okay, some skeletons, and actually we don't want Duna here to be our first one to engage them. Okay, and it seems some healing is required. And let's see if the skeletons have anything useful. Apparently not. Maybe we could pick some of those arrows. And let's save and move on. <clears throat> And I guess this is the southernmost area we can reach. I guess this is some kind of easter egg. I'm not sure what it is referring to, but if you know, please feel free to share in the comment fields. Some swords and they are almost as annoying as the kobolds, since you can get only uh, 15 experience points per sword. Fortunately, they don't have bows and arrows. So that's definitely plus going for them. But otherwise, there are usually hordes of them. And you need to go hunting them down and you cannot get any good loot or... 
uh, experience out of them. So maybe you could say that they are a bit of a waste of time. Well, not maybe to tier one parties, but overall. And by the way, as I have been asking about the spells from you, the most definitely my favorite spell in this game is called Save Load, and actually it's pretty much godly in origin, have saved me in quite a lot of situations. Okay, it seems we have made our first circle and there is something in that. Let's go to see it too. So, we have found Albert. Okay, so we have two toy and Rufi should be able to identify us as friends. And there seems to be a rabbit hole here containing okay, some skeletons. <coughs> So let's take care of those skeletons first, and actually I think we can give the scroll case to Duna here, but Cloud Kill is level 5 spell. Pretty good. I guess this will fail, but let's try nonetheless. Actually it worked really nice. I think from uh, that high spells you could get a bit more than when uh, 10 experience points per spell level. quite arrogant lot. I think we could have engaged them. Okay, Rufi found and he doesn't look like too much of a nice little dog. I think we will go the northern route. But I think I'm happy that he isn't attacking us, at the very least. And Albert should be somewhere here. Okay. So, a black opal and 1000 experience points. And 
I guess a little spook as well. So I think we should hope that we won't be seeing Albert soon, at least. Okay. <clears throat> Fastest draw in the West. Okay. And it seems we are in for a fight. And I think we will try to take out the fastest dart thrower first. And then his friend as well. And I think we should get a pretty decent item, namely this one. Let's give Khalid some potions. And let's see if Dunaher can identify it. Okay, maybe after we have rested. Kobolds. With bows. And I think we are going to rest right now. And fortunately, no nasty surprises during the night. And the Dale's Protector, so we should get plus two to hit armor class zero with missile weapons. And Imoen can use them, and it actually applies to bows as well. So that's pretty nice. Can I guess Minsk could use them as well, but since he doesn't use so much the bow as Imoen, I think Imoen is the correct person to have have those bracers. And I think they are one of the better items in the game that fake null zero take zero or take all how do you wish to express it plus two or minus two is quite decent item I guess we will just be confident that we are not missing anything there So we are in Cloud Peak Mountains. And still something to explore here. And I guess this is enough. So let's head back to the Gnoll stronghold and clear it out for good. Okay, Winterwolf, so you can go. That belt is really useful. And let's send Khalid to help out as well. A nice amount of experience. I think we could face some more winter wolves as well. And let's head to this stronghold and also the nearby area.
That's interesting because there, there is that boulder kind of blocking the vision there. So you need to move quite close before you can click beyond that boulder. At least some po sometimes I have had a bit of a trouble moving into this area here. Okay, good. And protection from petrification, I guess. And that could be a key for getting very decent amount of experience because there is an area infested with basilisks and greater basilisks <coughs> and from those you can get <coughs> sorry a really decent amount of experience i think it's 7000 experience points from greater basilisk and 1400 from lesser basilisks and the beasts themselves are not too difficult except for their gaze which can petrify you and pretty much end the game right away so the ideal approach is to use a spell against petrification or a potion is it called mirrored eyes or whatever it's called you get those on and then you go and hit them hard and gain a decent amount of experience by the way it's interesting that the cave here is not marked on the map so it makes one wonder if there are other caves that are not marked as well. Some swords. And hopefully some loot as well. At least a potion. A spell. And then some small amount of loot and some bats so i guess this is pretty useless cave not too much anything <coughs> of interest there And once again, some more Xwarts. And some small loot. And there should be another cave <coughs> around here somewhere. And apparently some more swords. And the cave has been found. Actually two caves. Nice. So maybe we could get something of, of use from here. In addition to the, say, 60 experience points from taking down those Xwarts. Okay, a manual. That's nice. Because with that you can increase the basic stats and even though it would be more useful with someone else, I think we will upgrade our main character. because at least he will go to the next uh, phase of the game. So, Charisma will be raised by one. I guess these books are worth about two and a half thousand. 
so no small thing. So our charisma will be permanently increased from 13 to 14. As you can see. And it's not a buff, so it increases the base level. And that's one of the practically among the best items you can get in the game. And it seems at the moment we are having some difficulties hitting the enemies here. And is this the place where there is a carrion crawler? I guess it is. I don't like these too much because they have the ability to petrify or stun. And then they can do the damage as they wish. But I think our party level is high enough. So uh, it's hold that the creature causes to a character. So as we wait for the effects of that attack to dissipate, we can collect the loot here at our leisure. And actually I think this is another thing that could use some tweaking. So when you are out of battle, uh, there should be an option to decrease the duration of those spells or effects that cause you not to be able to move or something like that. So that uh, you don't need to wait the duration of the spell out. Of course, it might go against the rules of AD&D, to which the game is based, but I think it would be player-friendly. And is here one more cave? Apparently not. Hmm. Okay. But I think this has been a successful exploration this far. going to need some seven and a half thousand experience points for next level. So that will be quite a lot of nulls to take out in this area or overall. But we have our first experience walking towards us and fortunately they are 60 Five points apiece. And it seems we could actually move to a bit more luc lucrative hunting grounds. I think we will move because I don't at least remember that there is at least anything more useful in that area. And we managed to find another winter wolf. That's nice. So 500 gold pieces and about 1000 experience points. So worth about a bit less than 30 nulls. 
And here we should have a plenty of enemies. Just waiting to be picked up or hunted down. And actually some of the fights can be a bit difficult as well. I think there are at the very least Ogre Berserkers. There is the first one. And as you can see, they hit quite hard. And actually it's nice that this special ability that the protagonist has works so fast. So in a tough spot in a battle, it can mean a difference between victory and defeat. I guess those black bears shouldn't bother us if we don't bother them. I think you can find the first black bears in the same area where you practically start the game after Gorion, Gorion has been killed. Of course, then you will have. Uh, level 1 characters, so they can be quite difficult, but it should be manageable, even there. Okay, quite a lot of gibberlings, actually. I think I have read a book, a uh, Baldur's Gate book, and the description of Gibberling was kind of interesting. I guess they were described something like um, that you couldn't see um, about anything about inside the everything mass that was advancing and so on. I think the Baldur's Gate book was pretty decent. So if you can find it somewhere, I can uh, actually recommend it. It's quite interesting. Oh, an ogre. Okay. A rather easy fights against ogres at the moment. So I think pretty soon these basic battles won't give us too many levels. So we need to start selecting the fights uh, we enter to save time. And at the same time uh, we need to hunt for those enemies and quests that uh, will bring the most experience for us. So there is a bridge and I guess it's guarded a small band of half ogres and some other monsters. So the experience from those should be at least decent. But we will go to that bridge after a while. <clears throat> and I guess here 
we could be of service to a man fleeing a polar bear. This should okay. I guess the polar bear is here. And I guess that's 900 experience points. Nice. And here should be the not damsel in distress, but some kind of noble in distress. Okay, at least he's very polite. And I think <coughs> we got a decent pair of boots. Boosting our cold resistance. And... <coughs> I think we will try to surprise the half ogre bandit group from behind. That should make the battle a bit easier. Especially if there are some hobgoblins armed with bows and arrows. Okay, an ogre berserker and a hope goblin with a bow. Fortunately, only the ogre coming this way. Let's hope we can, or the ogre berserker, let's hope we can take it down rather quickly. Nice. And then let's move against the hope goblin here. Two hobgoblin elites. Three. And we have a poison. I think we need to take care of those hobgoblins first. Okay, so this was a bit tougher fight. I think we need to rest in order to heal. Disrupting our sleep. And let's try to rest again. And this time it worked. And we can continue our exploration. I guess somewhere around here should be a bandit gang of hobgoblins. Let's try to find them out. And if I remember correctly, it's best to approach them <coughs> from this angle. Oh, okay. Uh, 
and let's try to draw the bandit leader towards us and then let's take him out first and I think after that and actually some decent items and let's hunt down the bandits okay just ordinary hobgoblins so they shouldn't prove too difficult nice and maybe we can actually get some bandit scalps as well Apparently no bandit scalps, but at least some loot. Maybe I shouldn't pick up those silver rings or silver necklaces, I think they are. Of too low amount of value. And let's explore the rest of this area. Brown beer. If I were of an evil alignment party, I would take that six and a half hundred experience points from it. But it seems I need to settle for a band of hobgoblins. And they also have something worth looting, apparently. And some gibberlings. Only two of them. I think we have pretty much explored the area here and I'm not certain where I could find those basilisks of there of course there are some sirens if I remember correctly this area contains a Xwart village and I don't I don't think what do you need? I want to fight that battle. Okay, some items. So um, I think at least some of these will be cursed. Mm, but then again, all of them might not be. And okay, so we cannot have anything except this. And it's a potion of healing. So, not complete waste of money. Two dire wolves. And it 
it seems we need to go to get some more ammo. And I think we will go to Naskel because hmm, it might actually be a bit faster to do this and then head back to Naskel this way. Okay. And I think we can sell at least those winter wolf belts here and get some additional items for our party. So as you can see those silver necklaces are not worth much. Okay, so Jahira will need some stones or bullets. Let's buy 20 of them. And then I guess Imoin could use some arrows. Let's once again buy 20 of them. And I guess Dunaher could use some bullets as well. And I think 120. Oh, rather 12 would be a good number there. And then let's see if there are some good items for sale. Apparently not. So I think we can go to rest and continue our adventures. And let's see, we still have not that much to go. I think we will take that uh, missing 300 experience points to gain a level. And for that let's travel to this area. All right, all right. And if we do encounter sirens here, they are going to be quite tough nuts to crack, because they can use charm spells so we need to be able to disrupt their casting quite effectively if we are to survive okay and we got the level and let's hope a bit more than 11 hit points unfortunately not but I think 47 is looking rather decent already. So after we have the whole party in level 4, I think we are ready to move uh, against the bandits or against the bandit camp in around here. So we would need to go to Beltvale and the neighboring regions. But I think this is everything for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you like the content, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to answer the daily question. What's your favorite uh, priest or druid spell in this game? Have a great rest of the day. Quality old games out.